Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been looking at one of my favorite plugins, Divi Supreme Modules. And if you watch any of my videos before, you know that Divi Supreme is one of my absolute favorites. It is a premium plugin, but they do have a free version. I'll put the link below the video. Just go over to the features page down the bottom and you can download the free version. And we're doing a little series here with the free version to let you know what you get. When you click on that button, it'll take you to their download page here for the free version and you get 20 free modules. And there's some great modules in there. Um, we'll be demonstrating a Divi flip box today. So have a look through. If you want to download it, just hit the download button at the top. We went through the install and setup in the last video. Very easy. It also comes with three premium extensions and we'll be covering those in another video. So what we're going to do today, let me show you how to make this little flip box right here. And this is one of the free ones. And that's a great little thing to have on your site. That's going to get eyeballs on it pretty quick when people are mousing around, which is exactly what you want on a website. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay, and let's go down. I'll just delete this module we've got here. So I've got a section, blue tab with a row, green tab with two columns in it. I'm going to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray ones here. Plenty enough to build most kinds of sites. When you add the Supreme Light plugin, you get these dark blue ones here. And as I say, there's 20 of them. I'm going to use the flip box one today. We've demoed this in the Pro before and it's exactly the same. So the first thing we want to do, let's move this over here, is add a new item. And as you can see, it puts in some generic text for us there. You can put your title in there. If you want to add a subtitle, just put it underneath. And we've got a regular text box with all the usual things. If you can make things in the paragraphs, headings, you can bold, underline, add links, or add media if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just exactly like that. You can use an image or an icon as well if you want to. Let's add an icon. I'm going to flip that to on. And we've got all the elegant themes icons to add here. Just choose one that works for you. Pop it in there. There it is. Down below, we've got a link. If you want to link your whole module somewhere, just put your link in there. Best practice, obviously, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, Put it in a new tab so yours stays open. And we've got an option to have a button here. Put in what you want your button to say there. And it, you may have noticed there's no button there. It won't appear until you actually put a link in here. I've got no particular link, so I'm going to put a hashtag. And there it is right there. And that's the generic Divi button we can see there. And you can style it any way you want. Same best practices for the URL. Okay, let's add a bit of a background. Well, I'm going to pop a background color in. And just for fun, I'm going to put a background image in also. So we've got color, gradient, image, or video. I've gone over to image. I'm going to hit plus. And let's pop that little thing in. As you can see, it's in there, but you can't really see that text very well at all. What I'm going to do is roll down just below the image. I'm going to use background image blend. And if you click on this, you've got all kinds of options and you can create some marvelous effect by blending a color or a gradient with an image. I'm just going to use multiply. And as you can see, it's multiplied the color with that image background there. So I can now change the color of a text to make it stand out really well. And we'll sort out our sizing in just a moment. Okay, well, let's move on to our design. Image and icon, I'm going to make that icon white. Not going to circle it. You can change colors and change styles if you want. Make it bigger or smaller with icon font size. Take it down a little bit there. And let's make our little flip box the right height now. So I'm going to get out of image and icon. I'm going to go down to sizing. I'm going to make it about the same size as the module that's next door to it. So I'm going to use minimum height that for that so that on mobiles and things like that, it can get bigger if it needs to. 
but I don't want it any smaller. So just drag it back or type in a value if you happen to know the size you want. And you can fine tune with the little arrows right there. When you're happy, just leave it where it is. Great. Okay, well, let's go into my text now. I'm gonna pop everything in the middle. I'm gonna make it a light in color. And of course you can style your text individually. You've got title, body and subheading. And you've got the usual things. Divi as standard comes with an absolutely crazy amount of fonts. There's literally hundreds of these. And if you want to audition one, just hover over it. It'll show you an example. I'm going to leave mine on default today. You can capitalize it, up and lower capitals, strike through, underline, italicize, put it left, right, center. Obviously, change the color, change the text size if you want to. Letter split line height is a great thing for just giving it a bit more space if you need a bit more space. And I think we'll bold it up a bit. We'll make it a bit heavier by making it gold. There we go. That stands out pretty well. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that just like it is. Like I say, you can style everything just the way you want to. If we go down, there's one for doing the button. And you can use custom styles and make that button any color you want. For instance, let's give it a purple background. And let's take the border away. And then perhaps on hover. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark legends in, you'll see some icons pop up. If there's an arrow there, you can set a hover state as well as a regular state. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. Hover obviously is when your mouse is on it. So for the hover, let's change that to blue. There we go. So we've got that color for hover and that color for non-hover. Great. Well, I'm going to move on and do the other side of our flip box here. So when you're happy, just hit the save. And we're back into the main flip box settings. Rather than create a new one from scratch, I'm just going to clone this one. And let's go in and just make a couple of changes. I'm just going to change the background out and perhaps ch change what the button says. So background wise, I'm going to get rid of the color and I'm going to put a different image in there. So I just clicked on the image. It's taking us to our library. Let's pop a different image in. There we go. And if we hover over, you should see the other side. Yeah, everything seems to stand out pretty well there. So I'm fairly happy with that. The only other thing is you can add custom spacing if you want to. We didn't cover that over in design. Go up a little bit. Here's spacing just below the button there. And if you want to add more or less padding, you can pop it in here. So if we wanted to put more padding left and right, put it in there. And as you can see, that's got 50 picks left and right now. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just save this. That was really easy, the second side there. I will just change what the button says. So perhaps read more. Obviously, whatever makes sense to you and wherever it's going to go there. So let's save that. We're back in our main flip box settings here now. And if we go over to design, we've got the usual design things, but at the bottom we've got animation. And you can choose whether you want it to flip right. left up or down let's have it to flip down there we go great now you can change the time it actually takes to do it 0 0.6 works fine for me but if you want it quicker take it down a bit if you want it slower take it up a bit 0 0.7 won't make a whole lot of difference so i think we're pretty good to go i might just add a global box shadow or something that's just up above below borders there just to lift it off the page and there we go let's save our changes and see what we've got and exit the visual builder and there's our little flip box when we hover over it it's going to flip down and reveal the other side and of course we've got a a link on that second button that's going to take people to wherever you want to take them and like I said, that's a nice little feature to have on your site if they're mousing around and 
mouse over that and it happens, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly, which is exactly what you want. So once again, we've been using the free version of Divi Supreme modules, which is absolutely awesome for a free plugin. And if you want to check it out, go to the link below the video, go to the features down at the bottom and download it from there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.